There are quite literally thousands of programming languages to choose from. So it's really important if you're going to get your kids interested and excited in programming that you choose a language that is at the right level for them, that they're going to enjoy coding in, and that they can start to see results quickly with. So what I'm going to do is just take you through some of the most popular languages and just talk about what their major applications are and how suitable they are for kids first diving into programming. So the first is Python. Python is a really popular high-level programming language. The language focuses on code readability and its simple syntax means that there can be more done in fewer lines of code than would be possible in other languages. Because of this, Python is often put forward as the best language for beginners and kids programming for the first time. It's a really adaptable language used for web and internet development, desktop applications, and even science and numerical data analysis. So you can do really cool stuff with Python, and it's fairly straightforward to make some really cool stuff. Because of its relative ease to learn and many applications, Python is the language that we suggest starting off with your kids. Java is one of, if not the most popular language among programmers. It's powerful and flexible language created by Sun Microsystems that can be used to create applets that run inside of web pages as well as software applications. Things that you can do with Java include interacting with the user, creating graphical programs, reading from files, and a whole heap more. It's important here not to confuse Java with JavaScript that is used a lot in web development as they're quite independent languages. Java is also a high-level programming language like Python, meaning that it's quite readable. So although it's not as simple as Python to learn, it wouldn't be one of the most difficult either. Ruby is a really powerful and flexible programming language that is used predominantly in web and internet development. Like Python and Java, Ruby is also a high-level language, meaning that reading and writing Ruby is quite straightforward, and it looks a lot like regular English. Ruby was designed in 1995 to design a language that emphasized human needs over that of the computer, which is why Ruby is one of the more straightforward languages to pick up. Ruby has become really popular over the last few years, being included as part of the Ruby on Rails web framework. This framework allows complex and powerful web applications to be built really quickly and easily. So Twitter is a really great example of a platform built on Ruby on Rails, really powerful, really doing amazing stuff and they're able to make big changes very easily because of the ease of the language. Objective-C is the primary language that is used to write iOS and OSX apps. So this is your iPhone, your iPad apps, as well as any applications that run on Apple's main operating system. It's actually a superset of the hugely popular C programming language and provides additional capabilities that are predominantly now used for app development. So if your kids are looking to create apps for iPads and iPhones, this is the language that they're going to be looking at. HTML or Hypertext Markup Language is the core language of the World Wide Web and it is used to define the structure and layout of web pages using tags and attributes. Every web page you look at is written in HTML. You can think of HTML as the skeleton that gives the web page structure and CSS, cascading style sheets, as the body that gives the page styling. So although by definition HTML and CSS are not programming languages, it's well worth mentioning and teaching these as the vast majority of software your kids are going to create will have some sort of web interface. And these days it's very difficult for any programmer to get away without at least basic HTML and CSS skills.